Well, gang, I'm back, and I'm back with another Lock and Load publishing title, and this is a brand new game that has uh, just been released and uh, was sent to me. Uh, I think there's a excess of uh, generosity coming from the Lock and Load folks, but nevertheless, they've popped this game out to me, and I thought I would uh, do them a favor and uh, take the lid off and have a look at it. Lovely box. It's one of those narrow boxes again. Lots of stuff inside it, so it will take a minute to go through it. And I won't uh, belabor the point because um, we've got my uh, Totten Sontag in the background that we, we've got to keep playing, so I don't want to interfere with that. But uh, big rule book for this game, but it is uh, full color and just gorgeous formatting, artwork, very simple, straightforward rules, layout, and bits and pieces. Uh, I've read through the rules real quickly. And and you know, this looks like it'll be a fun, uh, actually a fun game I might try with the kids. I'm going to roll up some characters for them and then we'll, uh, we'll try and play. Uh, you can even have female uh, gladiators. And look at that artwork, isn't that awesome? So I bet you if you took all the artwork out and all the, hey, here's how you do it stuff, I'd probably get this down to 10 pages of rules, maybe 15. There's a campaign in the back and you can kick sand in people's faces and you've got to clear it and that affects your three main characteristics and all that sort of good stuff. So a uh, real nice rule book. And then there's this other game that's in here as well, The Chariot Tears, and I have not read any of this, so I can't make any comment about that. And this is about you know, 30 pages of, of stuff. Once again, very nicely printed and formatted. Really awesome artwork. Um, I haven't had a chance to go through all of these different charts and tables yet, but they are many and varied and pretty well laid out, I think. It's all uh, nice font size and all the rest of it, easy to read. Uh, this has a lot to do with uh, just all the different aspects of the combat as you go through things and, and what the non-player characters are doing, random events, your attacks, uh, let's flip this over and see what's on the other side here. Hit locations and damage and things like that. And then what you do is uh, you've got a character here. So for a male character, 3x here, uh, you, you roll up your character, uh, you allocate your points here across these three categories, savvy, speed, and strength. And then you have a certain number of amount of damage you can take in each area and you have your weapon that you will choose your weapons you'll choose and then you'll put uh, you know as hits occur you'll then go and and to subtract them from here and eventually you die or you win or whatever the case may be and there's several different characters and you can be male or female in all of them very nice and there are there are counters in here that go on the map and I'll show you that and this is for the charioteer racing stuff. Oh, you can see that. I'm actually not looking at the camera while I'm doing this, so hopefully you saw something. Uh, all right, now let's just zoom in on these guys down here. These are the actual gladiators that you use. So it's a top-down view, and there are the weapons, and you can pick up weapons in the battle and all that sort of stuff. And there's the chariots when you race, and then I think these are your bonus dice that you, you have, uh, depending on which character you are. And then you track things with these these guys. And then you put your dude on a map. On the map, and there's a couple of different arenas in here, and uh, this is a you know once again nice artwork and all the rest of it. Uh, you march out into the middle of the field, of the battle battlefield, and you have your your fight, right? And whoever wins wins, and then you you uh, can appeal for mercy, and you can. Uh, entertain the crowd and all that sort of fun stuff. There's, here's another map here. There's a larger map, right? So it looks pretty cool. Uh, I, you know, it's certainly, it's certainly not a game that I would have thought to go out and buy. But it, after having a look at the rules, it does look surprisingly interesting. So we will give it a shot with the kiddos and see what that's like. Uh, my boys just went on to summer holidays, so we'll see if we can put this out and get them all excited about playing the Heroes of the Colosseum from Lock and Load Publishing. Really, really nice package of uh, components and 
rules and counters and the dice, I guess I should put the dice in the box there. So another job well done there, and it would seem that the volume <laughs> seems to be picking up from these guys. I now have received three, four games from them in the last 10, 12 days. So well done. I, I'm just impressed with this. I would imagine this would be really super fun if you had little minis and you put the minis down on the board in, in place of these guys and kept track of the, the damage on the, on the, the charts on the side and that would add a three-dimensional aspect to the game. I'm sure you can pick those up and paint those guys as you wish. Uh, that would be pretty cool, I imagine. All right, there we go. So there's a quick look at the Heroes of Coliseum from Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, I guess it's available online right now. I didn't see anything in the newsletter or anything like that. I haven't seen that actually recently come out. So go over, check it out, see if it's something you want to play. And I'll, uh, I'll when I get round to it, playing it with the lads, I'll post some gameplay up and we'll have some feedback on whether or not it's an awesome game, an interesting game, or a sucky game. But uh, I think it looks uh, pr it looks good. Uh, the rules read well, and I imagine it will be pretty straightforward once you get your characters all created. All right, later on.